ओके सो हैंड्स ऑन विद एंड्रॉइड फोर्टीन बेटा क्यू पी आर वन फर्स्ट क्यू पी आर अपडेट बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉइड फोर्टीन बेटा अपडेट एंड वी गॉट सम न्यू चेंजेस सम ग्रेट चेंजेस वी वर वेटिंग फॉर एंड्रॉइड फोर्टीन स्टेबल एंड दैट इज कमिंग इन जस्ट फ्यू डेज बट सम ऑफ द मोस्ट अवेटेड चेंजेस इंक्लूड द फर्स्ट वन इज दिस फ्लोटिंग सर्च पार इट्स एक्चुअली नॉट इनेबल्ड बाई डिफॉल्ट इफ यू ना ऑल्सो इनेबल दिस थिंग ऑन ए डिवाइस रनिंग एंड्रॉइड फोर्टीन क्यू पी आर वन यू हैव टू ग्रांट परमिशन थ्रू ए डी बी बट आफ्टर डूइंग दैट दिस इज हाउ इट इज लुकिंग लाइक दिस इज अ फ्लोटिंग सर्च बार सो वेन एवर यू ओपन एप ड्रर लाइक दिस वन न्यू एनिमेशन इवन इन द रिसेंट पैनल यू विल सी दिस फ्लोटिंग सर्च बार दिस एक्चुअली लुक सो अमेजिंग वैन आई सॉ दिस थिंग इन अ वीडियो आई फाउंड दैट दिस वॉज नॉट लुकिंग गर्ड बट आफ्टर इनेबलिंग इट इन माई डिवाइस आई फाउंड दिस इज एक्चुअली so useful so amazing you can simply click on this search icon to customize the some things for example swipe up to start search suggestion etc etc but in my personal opinion i am loving this thing secondly new lock screen clock was introduced with this new update this lock screen clock i am not sure about how it is actually looking like from my personal opinion i am not a fan of these kind of lock screen clocks some clocks are so amazing like this one this colorful clock looks so good the weather one is also looking good some others are good but this is the new one which is introduced and from my personal opinion i actually don't like this thing at all i don't know why but i don't like it but this is what it is included and you can enable this thing on a device running android 14 qpr1 update of course a beta update it's not a stable update yet but let's see if we get the stable update and these things are included in the stable update or not other things are basically same like other lock screen clocks etc are literally same nothing new here if we are talking about lock screen one more thing is dynamic clock if you move on to the display and lock screen options you will be able to notice this dynamic clock option which is basically just renamed it was already there it is not a new option which is presented but it's just renamed to dynamic clock so it's already enabled by default i don't think so you have to customize enable or disable this thing one of the most awaited things is available in the about phone and battery info is finally added for a lot of users who were actually looking forward to this i mean i was looking forward if they say about the battery health but in this case it's about battery information which means cycle count nothing much but that is still quite useful because that is useful for a lot of users to know about their battery cycle count they use some command prompts etc to do that but in this case it's already enabled we also have the live wallpaper for the lock screen i am not sure if it was available previously or not but i found in the change log and by the way for all these change logs all credits goes to mishal rehman from twitter you can find out if you want to know about more about these changes you can see if you want to set a lock screen wallpaper live lock screen wallpaper you can do that very easily according to that change log this is what i found so that is why i wanted to share with you these are some major noticeable changes which are available one more thing is regarding the bluetooth device if you connect your bluetooth tws then you will be able to customize some things for example you can simply choose the audio device type which device you are using it was not available previously it's also introduced with this new latest android update so these are some noticeable major changes available in android 14's beta qpr1 i installed it on my pixel 7a and i found only few not a major issues but one issue is regarding the battery percentage sometimes the battery percentage goes to zero but that is of course this kind of thing it's not a big deal other options are basically same and before in already introduced some great changes some new things some under the hood changes if you want to know more about android 14 changes or the features which were introduced already in developer previews public betas etc etc i made a video already on all the beta updates beta 1 2 3 4 5 also the stable android 14 is coming very very soon if you want to install this thing on it wise and want to know more about that which are the changes or etc everything we're going to talk about on this channel so make sure to subscribe this and also hit the notification bell icon if you want to know more about those things also this this update brings you some great features in android 14 so i think so if you are into custom room community you are going to love this thing for sure some features which were not available in the stock one are now coming to android and uh, stock android so that's good these were things thanks for watching i will see you in the next one until then goodbye